Hey, good morning, drone family, wherever you are. I hope you're having a good day. Now, I did say drone family, so if you could, but the drone I had was the Potensic Adam SE. So, this video is particularly aimed toward those who have that Potensic Adam SE and the Potensic Adam. Now, I, I, I paid $219 for my Potensic Adam SE on Black Friday 2023. Today is January the 16th, 2024. If you live on the East Coast, you know on January 15th, 16th, we had a major snow event, particularly here in the state of Maryland. Many of the schools have shut down. And I'm a teacher, so I'm off today. So today I decided, hey, while, sn while the snow is on the ground, let me take my potential Adam SE outside to practice manually returning my uh, drone home. I made a video on that, how to manually return your drone without relying on return a home feature. Because it may not all work. But today, I was thinking, I, the Potensic Adam has so many features on it. Now, I said I had the Potensic Adam SE, but eventually, I'm going to get the Potensic Adam. Because it has a lot more features than the Potensic Adam SE. Now, I was thinking, with the United States in such conflict with DJI and other and other Chinese drone manufacturers, is it best? Is it wise for me to waste my money on a DJI drone? I know that I know DJI is the top lion in the drone industry, but I'm saying is it worth it? Especially now since I love the Potential Adam. <clears throat> now the thing that really won me over today. When I was outside in the cold, I got about 100 meters away from me. Then my drone said lost the connection. So I guess the cold did something to it. The drone says it's not connected. It's not connected. The thing that amazed me, that it returned to home. So remember, I paid 219 and it returned to home. Now, I was nervous. Luckily, it was uh, one of them waste disposal men outside to help me. He detected because like I have glasses on, so I couldn't see the, the the gray little thing up in the air. He saw it, I heard it, so eventually it did come back without my interference at all. It landed. Now, you know, since the drone is like two hundred dollars in the two hundred dollars range, it didn't land exactly on a landing pad. It landed like about three, four, six feet away from me. But hey, that's good enough. When I'm nervous that it's gone, and and the drone says it's not connected anymore, I always wanted to sort of try that feature. To see what happened if I lost the connection. Now I saw what happened. For two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars for the Adam S E Adam Adam, it will come home. Now I'm starting to think, hey, should I waste my money buying the DGI? Uh DGI what is it called? Um DGI four pro. The DGI Mini Four Pro. I had my eye on that, but since I, since I, should I really buy it? Now, the winning features for the most of the DI drones is that they have obstacle avoidance. But if a person treats how to fly the drone, like you can like you can drive your car, you can drive a motorcycle, you can drive an airplane, you can do a boat. If you treat how to fly your drone, should you really be crashing into anything? I always wondered that. I always wondered that. If you can if I can master fly my drone, should I could Fly to anything. Now I do know from my little research, most pilots had trouble crashing into like pile cables and all that stuff. But you can, see, but when you see the pole, I know the cable right in the, in the vicinity of the pole. So I should know to jack my plane up, to lift it up about three meters. Then I know I'm out the way of the pole because you know like the power lines, they at the tip of the pole. So. Let me raise about three meters, then I know I can't get those power lines. But other than that, most pros from what I heard, now I still have them crash into buildings. They still be, but when they crash into the buildings, they be doing those fine maneuvers. Like since I'm a beginner, I'm not trying to do no maneuvers. But before I go, people, I'm gonna say, hey, if you wanna, if you think about buying a potential item, get it. Don't waste your money on a thousand dollar drone like I would, because I, I was telling the, um, the garbage disposal man, if I lose my drone, I would feel nervous. But I told him, thank God I didn't spend a thousand dollars on a drone. Then I would be 
I'll be pooping all over the place then. For my two hundred dollars loan, I still have been upset, but I said I can get that. I can get another one of those things. But all right, for thank you for stopping by. The potential Adam, it is worth it. It has the feature to return to home if the connection has been lost. That is a top level feature. That's more important than all the waypoints and all the circle me and all that other foolishness. You want your drone to come back if it get lost. And one more thing I did notice. When the connection broke, it just hovered there. It didn't, it didn't come down. It just hovered. I said, oh, that's, that's a nice little feature. So let me get my wits together and see what I can do to bring it back. It just hovered, then eventually it came back. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Until the next time, Potentic Family, Drone Family, peace.